Welcome to clickmeproject.com In our project title is Fast Nearest Neighbor Search with the Keywords In our project is use root to retrieve the more number of documents in limited number of keywords Now we are going to see about in our project abstract Here we first discuss the what is mean by the inverter index list and what is the use of the inverter index in the quick search. The inverter index contains a set of points and those points are belongs to the some keywords and those keywords are related to some documents for user searching. Here we are using the inverter index to effectively search the data. The searching is have the two kinds of category such as text retrieval and the location retrieval the location retrieval is depending upon the user giving keywords and the location retrieval is depending upon the user location the existing system of in our proposed system is contains the two kinds of methods such as i r squared search the i r squared search is divided into the signature files and r squared search both are not efficient to retrieve the data on quick search so the we introduce a new concept of the spatial inverter index list where in this scheme to the user gives a keywords on search and it's effectively returns user requirement on his search and here we using the concepts to merge list distance alignment and comparison schemes compression schemes to effectively search the keywords to retrieve Now we are going to see the data flow diagram of our project. It should be used for how to develop the our project. Here we see the one data flow diagram. Let's have the three important things: compare list, match list. and then apply comparison compression okay first of all it should be start by user query the user query is represented by the set of keywords it should be one or two and this keyword is entered into the user interface this keywords are matched on the database then its match means it should be given to the compare list in this compare list collect the keyword matching documents in overall and this collected list are merged in one to another then we calculate the distance between the each records in this each records are ordered into the separate documents or lines after that we apply the compression scheme the compression scheme is used to dynamically merge the same documents in the same location after applying the compression scheme it should be represent to the user now we going to see the running procedure of another project before running this project first of all we need the some important software for running this project such as netbeans and web server uh, this like a netbeans software before running we add the some job file it should be help to run this project and then add the database in our server then click projects server project was and then click the current frame and run this frame it's our initial frame here click the process button here user location should be selected here for example i click this button for panel it's a user location and then click the points button 
it should be represent the more number of points of users. And these points are act as a separate hotels or separate locations. Then we click the searching button. Here we enter the some specific dishes names. For example, I give the limited number of keyword and then search. First of all, it should be easy to collect the match list. So points and then famous keyword and then document or separate hotel names. It's a x axis and y axis of user location and then these x axis and y axis to calculate the specific city. It's a result specific point and then keyword and then document and specified location. In this exact and y axis to we calculate the area in Chennai user in V society. In this result is calculated here. Here we see that same distance it should be represented by two times. It's a problem of spatial limit analysis. It should be overcome by we introduce the compression scheme. The same result should be listed here. This is the Mabarga, P0, Meridian and the Bimbo. Same hotel is two kind of hotel is represented by one single point. It is seven. Alright, listen. Thank you.